It's for the children of St. Jude, sir. It's okay. Are you ready? We'll do it together. That's your window, that's my window. Place your three in the Stay for the Q and awesome or Q and A, and just uh, questions and answers about shift flight on board and all sorts of other fun stuff. So that uh, that's cool. don't know what else we're gonna do. Trivia, trivia, French trivia. French trivia. But we'll have other awesome activities throughout the day as well. Talk. Yeah, it's a debarkation talk, but um, packing, packing. I was not gonna talk about those things because you just get Reality. sad. Reality. But we'll be back with you later. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, this week, don't forget them. Don't forget who they are. If they've made you smile, if they've made you feel like at home, well, we're very proud to be on a ship with all of these hardworking individuals. What I want to say to everybody here today is thank you for coming out. Thank you for joining us, but before the most important is this cruise is not over yet. And how could we possibly have all of these people here without the man, the myth, the legend? Ladies and gentlemen, please show some love for my captain, your captain, our captain, who took you to these horses and cool this week, it's Captain Diaz! You can tell I was late, right? <laughs> well, I sincerely hope you have enjoyed your cruise. And if uh, so, it's because of uh, this beautiful team I have the honor and the pleasure to work with, plus 1,000 and more still working around the rest. So thank you very much. Have a safe trip back home and uh, come back to see you as soon. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are out on the Lido deck in line for Groove for St. Jude. Uh, for $10 donation, you get a t shirt and a wristband. They have new t shirts now, so the past few cruises I've just made a donation because I already have like multiple t shirts, but they've got new ones, so I want to get a new one. Okay. Alright, that last very quick clip you got was the cakes for today. They're all chocolate because on the last sea day they always have like their chocolate extravaganza. Um, but we also got back from the deli, back by popular demand, are the grilled ham and cheese. So that's what I'm eating here. And then I have a chocolate mousse cake that I have not yet eaten, but I will let you know how it is. And Dominic got the chocolate bourbon pecan. Is that what it is? What's the verdict? Good. Nope, he says it's good. This looks delicious, but I'm going to eat my sandwich first, so I'll be back. Alright, the chocolate mousse one is very good, nice and light, not super chocolatey. Dominic went on the hunt for the chocolate the peanut butter, shop? but came back with the chocolate coffee. Well, here we are at the past guest VIFP party. For platinum and diamond guests, good chance to get some free alcohol and some free food. Free. 
Yep, at the drinks, they come around with tray pulls of them. There's tray pulls of them at the bar. They pass out food. They've got little guests, the baby, guests, the ship, and guests, the whatever you call the badges on the officer's arms Army are. Legs or something, something like that. So. Uh, but yeah, there's some live music going on. Here's one of the waiters passing out food. Oh, there's Patty and Denny. I didn't think they were coming. But yeah, should be a good time. All well, the senior officers were called on stage. Captain speaking. <laughs> Thank you on my behalf, on behalf of Canada Cruise Line and Canada Thank you. Thank you. Now, we had a few games and things here. Before we talk about the winner of the game, I want to do something. You go over this way. Take the round of applause for Kendall, a future cruise director here as well. Uh, we have some games. Uh, but first, I'm curious to find out if there's anyone that made it to Platinum for the first time this cruise. If that's you, stand on up a second. Give us a big round of applause to our first time Platinum guest. Thank you very much. Great to have you here. Thank you for taking your first Platinum cruise with us. Let's find out now. This next group is an uh, enthusiastic group. Where are my professional platinum cruisers? Stand up! I'm an Englishman as well, we sound kind of similar, I get it. Um, but for a long time I was announcing this as a coaster. And it was John that let me know that it wasn't a coaster, it's a plaque. Uh, so if you do decide to take a picture of this, with a drink on it, my name is Matt, not Mike. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Matt would do the same to me. Okay, so uh, we've got a lot of winners here today, but I just want to as well talk about our Diamond guest. Diamond is a... Uh, I'm going to get signed off tomorrow These two people. the wrong answer. Okay. She has over 1,100 days at sea, and he has over 1,200. And they've only been cruising since 2004. I started cruising in 2003 and I'm at like a hundred and some days. So I've got to say my favorite guy is the ship. He's the best hotel director in the front of the Lifetime boss. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. He's my boss. Um, what's your favorite ship, Ed? This ship here. Good answer. Thank you very much. I'm very glad you said that. I need you to squeeze in. We've got a plaque for you guys as well. And I want to squeeze everyone in for a big group picture. Good evening. Hi. I thought you were going to do it. Well, we are the dread attack of packing. So now we are at Lip Sync Battle. If you've ever watched the TV show, it runs just like that. Two contestants compete, or anybody can compete for a spot on Lip Sync Battle at the beginning of the cruise. Audience picks a winner, and then the two final two battle it out on the last night of the cruise. I do. And it's usually pretty funny, so we will record some if we can, and show you what it's all about. We saw the two contestants this morning at the morning show, but someone forgot their phone on Lido, so we couldn't record that. The phone is my camera. Yeah. But we will be back soon. Bye. Here we go, the start of Lip Sync Battle. Welcome to Lip Sync Battle. He's more handsome than Channing Tatum, a better dancer than Michael Jackson, the voice of Celine Dion, and he paid me to say this. Give it up for your cruise director. saying that so much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Lip Sync Battle. My name is Mike, and tonight we have got the real deal for you. We have got Lip Sync Battle here on this stage, and tonight we're going to have two of your fellow guests that have been working hard for this moment. You've seen Janet Tatum, you've seen Justin Bieber, and now we're going to bring out our own celebrities. But first, I can't do this on my own. I need my very own Chrissy Teigen, and I've got my own. Greg 
that means you get to make the first impression. That is a brave move to let you step up here first. Do you feel like that was a mistake? Oh, uh, definitely. And do you think that Hannah can possibly keep up with you in this competition? Has she got a chance? No, I have a bunch of bag of tricks. You have a bunch of a bag of tricks. I feel like no one has a chance there. Greg, this is your moment. Let's go with round number one for Greg. Go get it. Let's go with Hannah's round number one. Let's do this. later.
The summer's gone, and all the flowers are dying. Tis you, tis you, must go, and I must part. But call me back when summer's in the And white with snow Tis I'll be here In sunshine Or in shadow Oh Danny boy Oh Danny boy I love you so Safe home everybody Thank you guys Have a great night Thank you well, here it is. Last time at the Alchemy Bar. Last time with my special drink. Looks delicious. It's not on the menu. You can only get it from Anna Maria. Champagne, fruit, lots of deliciousness. Oh, look at her go. I can't believe how fast this 10 days has gone. You're on a display. Yes. Extra spicy? You want an extra spicy? Danny and Patty are hanging out with us. They don't spend a lot of time in the alchemy bar. Are we sad to be leaving the cruise? Yes. Even though you guys are going to Venice. We have to go home. They go to Venice. No, I'm zoomed in a little. Spicy chipotle pineapple martini. <laughs> Over there's bonsai sushi. People eating, well, I say there's people eating late night sushi, but it looks like team members. There it is. Enjoy. All right, so one of the new spaces here on the Carnival Horizon is the Guy's Pig and Anchor Brew and Smokehouse. As you can see, here's part of the brewery over here. It's an actual working brewery. Uh, so they start here, and then they go over to the brew house. But here you can see there's seating along the promenade. It actually is a real restaurant and with the tenue. Here you have a little pig for the pig and anchor. You can see over here is the bar area. And then you have the brewery area here where they do the finished brewing. Uh, they took out the Red Frog Rum Bar, or Red, sorry, Red Frog Pub, and did the Pig and Anchor Brew House. So here you just have seating, TVs, a little sports bar concept. And then back over here you have like the live band area, another TV. More seeing in the back. So, I mean, it's almost kind of like the same concept of the guys pig and anchor. Not, not the guys pig and anchor, I'm sorry. That's Red, Red, Red Frog Rum Bar, Red Frog Pub, but a little bit different. Uh, as you can see, it, it doesn't not lead out back to the ocean plaza like everything else. Uh, it has a door that automatically opens. And it's 
just uh, like a restaurant. Uh, kind of like an Outback, or not an Outback, but like a Texas Roadhouse style here. It also does offer outside seating. So we'll go out here on deck. And then it just comes out here to deck five. And you have this whole view of deck five here. And you have the outdoor seating over here. And on the previous ships as well, it had the guys uh, pig and anchor barbecue for lunch. And that's right up over here. So you have the guys pig and anchor barbecue. Uh, you got the smokers back over there. It looks like they're just doing some cleaning. And you got more seating back over here. Oh yeah, it's just guys pig and anchor barbecue here. That this is open on sea days from like 12 to 2:30 or so. Not on the port days. The area we were just in, uh, guys pig and anchor brew house smokehouse, that is open. Um, this outside area where you get the barbecue is open, uh, like I said, for lunch on sea days. Uh, but the area we were just in is open nightly, starting at 5. I mean, this is an additional upcharge for dinner, but it's fairly cheap. Like, the beef brisket is like $8. And it's good brisket and good food. And what you get for it and everything, it's definitely worth it. Alright folks, and we're on the promenade deck here. And right over here is Bonsai Sushi. And one of the changes they made on the horizon is that you'll see the Bonsai Teppanyaki over here. They have two tables. Uh, it's a teppanyaki. They have uh, teppanyaki style. Hibachi. And then how they came up with this is they actually stole room from the library bar up here and made that uh, smaller and then made it into the teppanyaki. And then over here is the piano bar which was used to be a library bar and they made that a little bit bigger. Carnival is going more with brand name store, so they have a Victoria's Secret over here. Uh, a Hublot and Tag Horror watch shop over here. On the fourth floor is Nike shop. You need to record the proper way to use these elevators. <laughs> I got the I recorded. <laughs> and then you can see they have the new elevator system that they were testing on the Vista here. So what you do is you actually push the deck you want to go to. Go, it tells you the car you want to go to, but you actually want to push for the number that are in your party. Because these are smart elevators, so they will actually send another car if the demand is needed. And you can see there's no buttons. So then the little then, kids can't come in and push them all. Alright, well good evening, night, morning, depending on how you look at it. It's after midnight, so I guess technically it's morning. We've been talking about doing this all cruise, and it took us 10 days, but we just ordered the donut sandwich from room service. Dominic's going to take a bite and tell us how it is. I hear if you like strawberry, it's good. He doesn't like when I record him eating. <laughs> We'll just pan around the room while he chews. It's kind of a little, not messy messy, but the last few remaining things that we have to pack in the morning. Yum. We got a yum. Mm. Looks like it's finger licking, thumb raising good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I don't know what else to tell you. It's been a fantastic cruise, and we'll definitely do kind of a recap when we get home. We should probably go to bed, though. 
as it is. As it is on the sandwich. What time is it? Like, uh, oh, that's right, your Fitbit's over here. You look at the phone. It's 12.37 in the morning. We have to be in the Reflections dining room at 6.30 a.m., which is, yes, less than six hours from now, because we have a 10.30 flight. Now, granted, we get into Barcelona at 6 a.m., so they said any flight after 10 o'clock is totally doable, but we need to be one of the first people off the ship. So we should probably be in bed, but we figure we're going to be sitting on an airplane for first flight 10 and a half hours, then a like three hour layover, and then another almost three hour flight. So we're not too worried about it. Two hours. Oh, sorry, two hours. So we have like 16 hours of travel tomorrow? Yeah. It's going to be a long, exhausting day, and we'll probably sleep part of it. But we're going to try really hard to stay awake so that we can actually go to bed when we get home. Because we will arrive in Minnesota at about 7.30, but we'll feel like it's more about 3.30 in the morning. Uh -huh. So, should be interesting. But we will definitely take you with. It's been a good cruise. Been an amazing cruise. I cried a lot today, and I'm not a crier. <laughs> because I just cry tears of joy, tears She's of sadness. You're about to cry now. You can hear it. No, I'm not going to cry. Nope. Done. But it's been great. Mike Pack. Phenomenal cruise director. I've cruised with some great cruise directors, but there is just something about him that is incredible. He is everywhere. He literally has asked us like four times probably, if not more. Maybe even a half a dozen times. If we're having a good time. And that's not including all the other times that we've interacted with him. And I'm sure if you've been watching the vlogs... We've interacted with him a lot. Something about him has gotten us to go completely out of our shell and, like, make total fools of ourselves and not care. So, but we will definitely wrap this all up when we get home. But we'll see you tomorrow for travel day. Good night. <laughs> Got a peace out. Well, we're outside. And our ship is back there, which means we're officially off the ship. Oh my god, my eyes watering so bad. I won't stop. Not tears. Water. Something. Oh. Just had my allergies a mess all week. I wasn't saying she was crying. I was crying, doing I the know. tear thing, because we're off the ship. But now we're just waiting in line for the Carnival Shuttle, which is a massive line. Thankfully, we got off pretty early. But now we are five people from the front of the line, but there's no bus here, so we got three and a half hours till our flight still, so we should be all right. But it'd be nice if the bus would show up, because it's not a quick process to load it or unload it. So check in later. Bye.